This tutorial provides an overview of the most common features in Windows 10 to get you started with your new device. Let's get started with the Start menu. The Windows 10 Start menu is a hybrid of the Windows 7 Start menu and the Windows 8 Start screen. To access your Start menu, click on the Windows icon in the bottom left corner of your screen. You can see a list of apps on the left of the screen resembling Windows 7 and dynamic tiles pinned to the right side of the Start menu resembling Windows 8. There are several items I'd like to draw your attention to. On the left side of the Start menu, you will see a few options available. Clicking the horizontal bar will access the menu, which expands to show the full name of menu items. You will also see a direct link to your account settings where you can lock your computer, switch accounts, or sign out. The settings icon launches in the settings app where you can customize some of your computer settings. You can make changes to how your start menu looks. We'll touch on settings later. Power options can be accessed by clicking on the power icon. The next column you'll see a list of all installed apps. You will see both individual apps as well as folders that contain multiple items. Folders will expand when selected. You can scroll through the list of apps or you can jump to a specific part of the list by selecting any letter, for example A, and then choosing the specific letter the app name begins with. Apps can be pinned to the Start menu or Taskbar for easy access. Mouse over the application and right click to view your options. Choosing Pin to Start will add a tile to your Start menu. App tiles you don't frequently use can be easily removed from the Start menu by right-clicking over the tile and choosing Unpin from Start. Tiles can also be resized based on your personal preference. In addition to resizing app tiles, you can also resize your Start menu. The Start menu can be run in full screen, but we'll look at that when we take a look at the Settings app. You can also organize your tiles in groups if you choose to do so. Drag a tile to a different area of the screen. You will see a blue bar that will let you name the grouping. Click on the horizontal bars to rename the group. I personally like to keep my most frequently used programs pinned to the taskbar for quick access. To pin the most frequently used programs to the taskbar, hover over your app, right click and select more. Choose pin to taskbar. Programs can also be unpinned from the taskbar by right-clicking on the app and choosing Unpin from Taskbar. One of the items you may want pinned to your taskbar is the File Explorer. This app is not listed in your Start menu, but we can use the Search feature to find it. When you search for an item, you have the ability to filter your results in a few categories, such as Apps, Settings, and Documents. You can also right-click on the Start menu for quick access to certain items, like the Control Panel, File Explorer, and Shut Down or Sign Out options. Now let's take a look at the Settings app. The Settings app is a more simplified version of the Windows 7 Control Panel. The Control Panel is still available in Windows 10, though. You will find options for personalization in the Settings app. Click on the Start menu and choose Settings. The Settings app is organized by categories. We'll click through a few of the categories to explore options. Let's start with personalization. We won't spend time looking at backgrounds, colors, and themes, but you can feel free to explore those options later. This is where they're located. Let's take a look at the Start menu personalization. You have the options to hide or show your most used apps or recently added apps, you can also use the Start menu in full screen. If you leave Recently Open Items and Jump Lists on, you will see a list of recently opened files for each application when you right-click on the icon. In this section, you can also specify which folders you want to appear on the Start menu for quick and easy access. You may want to include the File Explorer or Documents or Downloads in this area. Let's take a quick look at some taskbar personalization. We've already talked about pinning apps to the taskbar, but you can also customize the taskbar even further with options like hiding the taskbar in desktop mode and changing the location of your taskbar. You can explore these options on your own. 
Let's head back to the home screen in our Settings app and take a look at the Devices category. Here you will see a list of all of your connected devices. You can click through each of the device options on the left side of the window. Today we're not going to cover the remainder of the settings options, but you're welcome to explore those on your own at a later time. Windows 10 provides the ability to multitask. There are three different ways to accomplish multitasking. The first option is to select the Task View button on your taskbar or press the Alt-Tab option on your keyboard to switch between apps. You will see all of the running applications as thumbnails in the middle of the screen. Click on the app that you'd like to open. You can also use two or more apps at the same time by snapping apps into place. Grab the top of an app window and drag it to the side of your screen. You can snap apps in four quadrants, allowing you to multitask with four different apps. In addition, you have the option to organize these applications in multiple desktops. This is particularly helpful when you want to categorize open applications into groups. Click the New Desktop icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. A new desktop will be created. Click on Desktop 1 and select the app you would like to move to the new virtual desktop. You can switch between desktops by clicking on the Task View icon. In Windows 10, the New Action Center is where you'll find app notifications and quick actions. On the taskbar, look for the Action Center icon. You can also access your computer settings from here. You will see a network icon on the taskbar to the left of your Action Center icon. You can click on the icon to view your available networks. If wireless networks are available, they will appear here. All district laptops are automatically connected to the SMCISD wireless network. We've covered some of the basics of Windows 10 to get you started with using your new laptop. If you need additional assistance after you get your laptop, feel free to call the Technology Help Desk at 393-6966.